and welcome back to Crystal's Heart and Home. Today I would like to share with you a clean my messy kitchen video with you guys. Um, last night me and the hubby sat down to watch a movie on Netflix. Then that movie turned into watching another movie so it was very late before we went to bed last night. So the kitchen was in a mess so I decided just to leave the mess and I would get it today. So I'm going to share with you my messy kitchen. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I hope you find some motivation. Maybe you need to clean your kitchen up today too. So hopefully we can do it together. So without further ado, I am going to turn you guys around and show you this messy kitchen and we're going to get started on it. Okay guys, I'm going to give you an overview of what it looks like. My computer's there. It needs to be in the uh, workout slash office area. I need to put these bananas in some bags, get them frozen. Um, a little bit of Easter stuff. I'll take you guys around this way. So here's like my little YouTube planner. Bunch of cups on there. The hubby's wallet and phone. Needs to be taken up to his office. I've got some recipes out here that I was working on. This is my planner. My wipes, these things are like gold now. This is my last container of them. I hope I can find some more. Um, I did have a little snack before I started this video. There's my recipes. Uh, more recipes. My Insta Fryer. I cut some potatoes up and made some potatoes this morning. Coffee area is a mess, but this is the real mess right here. This sink need some attention guys this was from last night and this morning my goodness on over to i had my blender out i need to work on getting that sugar in the sugar container and huh, the stuff i made some pumpkin spice brownies there yeah quite the mess so i'm gonna take you guys along with me and we are gonna get this cleaned up I'm going to change out my rugs too because these things are really dirty. Let's get started. getting the dishwasher filled up from all the dishes in the sink because we did have so many dishes that night. Okay, I've got the dishwasher as full as it's going to get, so I'm going to go ahead and start it, and I'm going to clean out my sink, and then these need to be hand washed, and then I could not get these in the um, dishwasher, so I'm going to hand wash them also, 
We're gonna put this in a container, put this in a container. We have a uh, homemade pizza today for lunch. So I need to put that in a container because we didn't use it all. And just straighten up this stuff. And yeah. And then we'll take these rugs downstairs to the laundry room, wash them, and then we'll sweep and mop the floor, wipe the appliances down, and then we should be good to go. All right, so let's get started on washing the sink down. While that's filling up with water, I am going to go ahead and put some dishwashing detergent in here and get the dishwasher started. All the dishes are clean. I am going to clean the sink again. And I know a lot of people don't like Clorox, Tylex, but this stuff really is good for my white sink. These white sinks are so hard to keep clean. So I'm gonna wash it down one more time and then I'm gonna spray this in it and let it sit for a while while I clean the stove up and while I sweep and mop and then we'll come back and rinse it down and put my um, sink mats in there. Have you guys had these before? They're wonderful. What I do is I heat them up in the microwave for like maybe 10 seconds and then put a little bit of whipped cream on there for dessert. They're amazing. If you guys like birthday cake, you're gonna love this.
show you how many towels I've used just by cleaning up the kitchen. My goodness. So now I'm gonna work on the refrigerator. Take this down to the laundry room. Look how much dirt is on my rugs. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. I'm going to get this trash ready for the hubby to take down and wipe the outside of my trash can off. And then we will sweep and mop. And then we should be finished. using this um, what I do is just put some water in there and then I put a little bit of vinegar in there the white still vinegar to get my floors really really clean okay now we're gonna wait for this thing to start steaming and we'll clean the floor really well and then we're done Okay, I'm gonna let these dry, go downstairs to the laundry room and take those towels and those rugs. Okay, now I'm just gonna dry these dishes, put them up, and then I'll take you for a tour to let you see how clean it ended up being. It smells wonderful in here. So here is how everything turned out. The bar is cleaned off really nice. The only thing I did not get around to is getting these bananas in the back frozen, but I'll work on that after dinner. That's how the coffee side turned out. The dishwasher turned out nice and clean with the cute towel. The sinks turned out really nice, clean and white. I really, really love a clean kitchen. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably not gonna stay this way long because I'll have to cook dinner. <laughs> That's the sad part. There's the refrigerator. I had to get to get the trash undone and wipe that down. And there's the floor. Turned out really nice and clean. Okay guys, that's it for my clean with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of motivation to get something clean that you need to get clean, whether it be your kitchen or your bathroom. I love washing clean with me kitchens. Um, I love seeing someone clean the kitchen sink. I get so much satisfaction out of that. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. It just makes me feel happy to see a clean sink. So I hope I gave you guys a little bit of motivation and, um, do you guys like watching things like that? Let me know down in the comments below if you like to watch someone clean a sink. Um, and thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate all you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!